Uh, we've talked about the need to upgrade the line. Here are some edge rushers that will not break the bank for the Browns. This is from Sports Illustrated. Um, they have Okorano from the Texans. Current projection, two years, 11 million, so five and a half million each. Um, and then again, Lorenzo Carter from the Falcons, uh, two years, 12 million, uh, 6.75. Uh, guaranteed. They say Carter similar to Tack McKinley. And um, Ashley, that's that's kind of what the Browns need to find. A couple of guys that can play like Tack McKinley was before he got hurt here. Yeah, I mean, he was so valuable to what they did in 2021, I thought. And I mean, it obviously helped that you got the kind of resurgent year out of Jadavian Clowney there. But you know, I think when they brought Chase Winovich in, that wasn't like a one for one comparison with Tack, but I think like you think, oh, maybe he can kind of match the productions in terms of rushing the passer that Tack did and give us another body. And then he was hurt all the time. So that didn't really come to fruition. I mean, I do like that comparison. I do think that's one of the spots that you can make an argument that they definitely need somebody else. But I do think you kind of have to look at obviously not necessarily breaking the bank, but you have to remember Alex Wright is still so raw and he was not super effective at rushing the passer. I mean, according to PFF, he only had, I believe, 12 total pressures for the season. He did not have a sack. So I think that it becomes like, OK, can you maybe try to patch this up with your draft picks? Because there's going to be somebody good in the second round that can kind of help fill that role too. But I mean, I think again, you can make an argument that maybe you should get two more guys, edge rushers in there and give Alex Wright more time to develop with his pass rushing in particular and still get him meaningful reps, but not needing to rely on him as much as you have to this past year. Yeah, and, and the other thing to keep in mind, Jim Schwartz, he says he wants to wave guys in. So I, if if you yeah. <laughs> he wants to play seven, eight guys instead of five or six. So that's um, again, if you find situations and you can plug guys in, that's one of the ways um, you get around that.